Uh, I made that first video. I feel a little better. I got this aggression out, but I'm gonna go through and just communicate to the rest of these, the rest of you guys. Growth spiral. I see all these seemingly sarcastic comments with a hint of deep-seated Christian-based religion, where you're like, "He is the Messiah. He is the truth," and all these things that are like deep, inherent Christian brainwashing. You're the messiah for your reality. I am my own messiah in my reality. And you are your own messiah in your reality. And then you wigged out about this money thing. A lot of people wigged out about selling stuff. For the record, I think it's better to sell something than it is to ask for money. Even if it's just rocks you found on the beach. Snot magic. It's like, I'll see a comment from you once a week. Three times a week. And it's just like, a smack in the face. Like, you come up and throw mud on me or spit on me. It's... Really, it really hurts. It's like I'm, it's like you're coming up with a sharp stick and you're jabbing me in the shins. And maybe you don't realize the impact it has because I fucking read the comments. All these comments that everybody else reads, everybody knows who you are that reads this. I read it just like you. I'm in this. I'm here. You, I just don't respond to it as much because I'm talking on video. I don't. I don't. I think everybody should be talking on video. Let the text comments be a, a, a transition into you, using video technology, because text ain't getting it done. It worked as it did for the time, but we're evolving into another form of communication analog communication. Snot magic. Dude, seriously. It's like, maybe you got beat up a lot. Maybe you do get beat up a lot. Maybe you're afraid of getting beat up. You come here and you act like there's something wrong with me because you find a sense of comfort in it. Maybe you call, you say that kind of stuff to the people around you. The people you consider your friends. Maybe you have a relationship where you punch each other in the shoulders or at least where you call each other idiots. I'm very aware of the stuff that you're saying. And, dude, really fucking cut it out. Get focused. Tell me what is on your mind at the very least. Because all this assault is really draining me. And I want to work towards things in a more positive way with you. T, there's a guy, TDEJMC, D, and there's a guy, TDJNCD. Whenever you're talking about, like, get bread, get me bread. I mean, it's like borderline psychotic. You were really cool, and you were very helpful until the whole thing went down with Amanda when I had the experience out there, and she walked off without her shoes, I think. Or her, her necklace broke. She just left. And then she punched me in the face, and then you just fucking snapped and started talking about, bring me bread. All, like, 90% of the comments you leave are, get me bread, you better get bread. Where's that bread? Get me that bread, bread boy. Waiter, where's our bread? You gotta check yourself.
What's going on? Did you get beat up by a woman? Hard? I remember you saying that she belonged in jail. Tell me about it. Write me a letter about it. Or make a video or a sound bite. But lay off the psychotic repetition. Uh, spoken word 333, you, you were very wise in the beginning and then you took it personally that I didn't respond to you and you just started getting nasty. Dude, chill out. What do you want? Tell me what you want. Don't just come in here begging for my attention. Don't praise me and then get pissed off if I don't respond and then get lash out at me. Just let it be. Or tell me what you want. I, I thought of you as someone with insight and then all of a sudden it's like you just some emotional episode Could have been anything. Something set you off. Tell me about it. Oh, and then one more. There's a couple of guys that I, I just, I really like. I, this, I mean, there's a lot of people I really like. I really value your opinions, all you guys. It's this negative assault that's draining, and I'm addressing it now to turn it into a more constructive approach. TV guitars. Everyone that's watching this knows what I'm going to say, how I mean I mean it's so obvious your rage. It's so apparent. No one touches what you say. People just back away from it and look at it. Every once in a while you'll get a response and they'll be like, yeah, he's an asshole. But your stuff is so fucking negative. Your stuff is so fucking angry. It's like, oh, this asshole deserves to, I want to bash your face in. You deserve to die. Oh, I hope you burn. I hope you're homeless. I don't know if you ever said burn. Homeless. Face bashed in. You understand I'm a real person in the same situation that you're in? You have something going on. I know I have something going on. That's why I'm making video and watching myself. You have something going on too. And it's your job to explore that. You're not going to find it in me. And I'm not going to find it in you. All we can do is bump off of each other, but it's up to us to explore what we are. I'm not going to get redundant. Listen to me. I said two things too many. I said, listen to me, which was extraneous. And I said, I'm not going to get redundant, which in and of itself was redundant. The things that you're saying to me are the feelings that you have towards yourself. This is for every person that feels the desire to respond or react. What you feel about me is what you feel about yourself. Now reread your comments and see that. I'm here with you, but I'm a real person.
And I'm not going to fucking take your shit. I'm not going to fucking be a whipping boy. I'm a normal fucking person going through the same fucking thing that you're going through. And I want to work together to help. I want to be constructive. I don't want to be destructive. I don't want to have negativity drain me down to a point where I lash out. So I'm facing it now. <laughs>